clean and re decal Delaware football helmet. Fuel is needed scalpel, two dirty rags, so fantastic. And we have our restripes and our helmet tool here. So, first thing we're going to do is remove any damage or scuff decals from the helmet. This being a practice helmet, all we have are the stripes right here. So, I'm just looking for any damage. You can see we got some grass and some chips here in the front. So, all I'm doing here is just peeling these off. As I'm peeling the stripes here, I'm looking for any glue residue that these stripes are leaving. And that usually accumulates right here at this crest. I'm not seeing any. So it should be good there. As we're moving, looking for any sticky residue, like I said, that usually accumulates right here. And right here at this little ridge right here as well. And I'm not seeing any. So haven't found any so all we're going to do is pop the face mask right here using this flex tool and you do that by inserting these uh, points right here right into those clips these quick release clips make it super easy to put a new face mask on take an old one off and as you'll see in a minute, come back on super easy. So we use flex, flex tool here to take the face mask off and then we're gonna get our old rag here. Spray it down. Most everything comes off with Fantastic. Uh, if there is any glue residue, like I said, we didn't find any, we have to use uh, Goof Off. And that's just a little bit stronger of a, uh, of a cleaner. So I'm just checking around, making sure that we've got all the smudges, all the dirt, all the grass off. You have to take the face mask off to get to these points right here, which are otherwise covered by the face mask. Just giving it a good shine. So, if we got cleaned off, relatively dried off a little bit, you want to make sure the helmet is dry before you reapply the uh, decals just in case. Make sure they stick. So, looking around. So, as far as reassembling the helmet goes, the orange stripe always goes first. This is going to be your marker. It's going to help you orient, orient it, or uh, you know, orient yourself with the rest of the helmet. Make sure everything is where it needs to be. So.
so all I'm doing right here is just lining up the stripe just like that and I'm slowly peeling this back right here and just laying the stripe down it's pretty pretty easy to do because you've got these bolts here in the helmet for refilling the pads with air or readjusting it and you're just laying it down right on top once you get a good way down the helmet it's good to pick it up kind of position yourself one thing against the other side of the room going back and forth to see if it's straight it's good You're gonna peel this back bumper off right here. Lay the rest of the stripe. Get your scalpel. Make a cut. Peel that off. You can lay the bumper back down. And that's your first middle stripe. And the rest of the stripes, all you're doing is laying it down right next to the orange one you already laid. And what you're doing is you're leaving just the fingernails width of space between the blue stripe and the orange stripe. Like I said, everything goes off with that first orange stripe. So once you know that it's centered and laid down correctly, it takes all the guesswork out of it. All you're doing is laying it down. see right here sometimes it bubbles up right at this crest what we do is we just introduce a heat gun and just blow it down and it kind of melts the back of the helmet kind of help uh, helps the adhesive sit in and helps that helmet stay there help the stripe stay there so I'm just gonna come down I'm not gonna press that down with my fingers because that's usually what we do with the heat gun just cutting again, making sure that that's uh, straight on there. Cutting again. Nope. There you go. Pressing it down. Like I said, we would introduce a heat gun right here in the bumper right over on top so you got all the stripes laid down and for this particular helmet you got this flex part right here 
All you're doing is taking the scalpel and you're cutting along that ridge. Scalp was not very sharp. Scalp will actually sucks. <laughs> but to get the job done, for the most part, it's kind of fighting me, but. Stripe is finished. Let's see. Just the orange, cut three stripes, did the cutting. So now I'm gonna put the AU decals on here. One thing to be careful when you're laying these down, is you want to orient the AU to how the player would be wearing the helmet. So you can't just do this straight, like this, or whatever, because on the point when it's sitting on the player's head, it's tilted forward. So you want to make sure that that AU is facing forward, as it would be shown if the player was wearing it. So, all you're pretty much doing Find the center of the helmet, just kind of place the base of the AU down, and then you're just spreading it. Making sure to get all the bubbles out. So, I'll go ahead and put the face mask on. Because you already know what it's going to look like on the other side. So, I'll go ahead and uh, speed this up a little bit. Orient the face mask like this. Making sure they're lining up with the holes. Uh, is this okay? Yeah, you're good there. Place the clip, clip inside. Press in to activate it. When you hear that click, you know it's secure tightening. Kind of got to find tricky angles to. Uh, Make sure it's going in there correctly. This one's not cooperating. that click and they're good all right there you go our football helmet thanks Ethan